Every generation, every decade, my nigga, rap has messages. My nigga, they've removed messages from music and have heavily sexualized music by making the women hoes, emasculating the men, and implementing genocide within that shit to keep us with the Stockholm Syndrome. We not allowed to teach our people no more, my nigga. Long as we killing, fighting, and doing nigga shit, that run they numbers up. But us as black people got to understand the power that we have, my nigga. And you niggas is so brainwashed to the point that where y'all allowing this shit to transpire by believing every fucking thing y'all hear niggas say, bro. To where y'all be believing these niggas. Look at G Herbo and Casanova, my nigga. If the game ain't showed you it's a bunch of faking and shaking going on to look like something, bro, I'm gonna be real with you niggas, my nigga. I've been in this business for over 20 years. And I'm gonna tell you, niggas is not hopping on and off private jets like that, my nigga. That shit 15 to $20,000 one fucking way, my nigga. Shit not cheap, nigga. On top of that, niggas ain't even getting shows booked and shit like that. Niggas ain't really selling records like that. Niggas is naturally around this bitch looking rich, bro. And ain't really having that bag like that, my nigga. Scamming at all time high. So don't just be looking like the feds just watching and the fit now the feds making examples out of niggas right now they're showing you that this shit really ain't what you think it is niggas ain't riding this bitch dope ain't even really floating i ain't gonna even say that that's tmi i'ma just say this my nigga scamming at all time high my nigga and dope is at its highest too but at the same time it's more scamming going on than a bunch of hustling so, but they letting us promote that shit and niggas is telling on themselves on these platforms to where if you talk the correct type of talking, my nigga, which is the talk that they want you to talk, they all for it. Post us killing each other. <coughs> Post us killing each other. Post fights. Post robberies. Anytime a nigga trying to learn you something or teach you something, you get flagged, my nigga. You get flagged for the truth. You can't tell the truth no more, my nigga. It's a fake it till you make it society in this shit. Ain't no more DMX slipping or fallings, my nigga. Ain't none of that. Everybody hit us. Everybody so dope. My thing is this. All the niggas that be rapping about guns and all that shit, where the fuck do them guns be when them niggas run up on you niggas? If you niggas don't understand common sense and pay attention that niggas just be talking, bro, that this shit's so fake and this shit for entertainment purposes, purposes only, my nigga, it don't get no clearer than this. You mean to tell me the shit that you listening to is more potent than the shit that you... Hearing is more... Is more... Hearing some shit... It's more vital than actually seeing some shit, my nigga. Mo3 died, my nigga. And rapped and did Instagram freestyles with tools. And died without a gun. Vaughn freestyled with guns. And rapped about guns. And died without a gun. This shit is entertainment, bro. And they're thriving off this shit. They want us to keep talking about that and keep us buying. Let me give you another thought, my nigga. In the 90s, all black fashion was thriving. This is a whole lot that I'm giving you niggas in very little time. Pop Smoke, they gonna slide and do everything. Died without a gun, my nigga. The list go on.
damn near every rap nigga that got killed, God bless his soul to my nigga Nip, died without a gun. All these niggas died without guns. So I'm finna explain something to you niggas. And then they implement the tough shit within that shit. And then I'm gonna go back to flat fashion. They implement all that tough shit because they don't want you niggas with security protecting yourselves to keep dying by the gun. So the game really, this shit is really like slot machines in a fucking casino right now, my nigga. The, the machine is loaded. Let's go, the sh machine loaded for you to lose to keep pouring money into it. That's what all entertainment it is. They want you to keep pouring money into that shit, but you can't implement messages, my nigga. I'm gonna go back to that, but let me get back to showing you how shit fucked up to keep niggas as the consumers to not owning shit, but to be buyers and not sellers. Tupac died without a gun. Biggie died without a gun. And rapped about more gangster shit than all the gangsters that rapped about gangster shit died without a gun in their possession. My nigga. My nigga. Go look that up. I don't know about no duck. Duck wasn't that important. No disrespect to duck, but it ain't. I don't know 15 grown niggas that knew about duck. So it's no disrespect to the homie. I know none of that shit, but every nigga died without. They died and wasn't in combat with a gun. Back to fashion. Let me show you where the punk shit and the emasculate nigga come in. To back in the 90s, niggas was dressing like men. Carl Kanai, Fat Form, Eniche, Cross Colors, Thriving. We talked about that shit. We wore our own things. Sean John, Rockwell. All that shit, my nigga, thrived in the 90s and early 2000s. We didn't wear white folk shit. We didn't wear none of that shit. We wore our own, my nigga. And I'm going to lead this live up today. We wore our own shit, my nigga. We didn't wear none of that Gucci. Very little rap niggas wore that shit. But then you got to look at the Dapper Dance where we took that shit and we made it fashionable to not look like no punk shit. Because we wanted it to look like some gangster shit. That's when you implemented niggas like Dapper Dan came in and took they shit and finessed it. But it took 40 years for the motherfuckers to let Dapper Dan in to make some money. And then they charged, they trumped the charges on it because we made shit popular. Rap, nigga. Not them. We make it popular. Diamonds. Look at diamonds and jewels. Not a one black jeweler in sight making no money. The motherfuckers come into our communities, into our cultures, and everybody make money off our culture but us. Tonight, where's Fat Form? They were selling that shit in Ross, Walmart, all that shit, FUBU, Walmart, all that shit. Them folks didn't buy that shit because it was popping. They bought that shit, removed that shit out of our culture, my nigga, because we was making more money than they shit and made that shit, they didn't buy that shit to mass produce it. They bought that motherfucking shit to water it down, my nigga, because it was more popping than they shit. Then they gender blend and put the gender blend shit in to emasculate niggas. Not everybody buying all that shit that's made by homosexuals, me included. I buy that shit too, nigga. I'm going to be a real nigga and tell you I buy it. But I don't wear all the other shit. I've been wearing this shit since a child, my nigga. So at the end of the day, it's regular clothes to me. But it's cool shit. I wear it for a different. But I'm not making no excuses for wearing that shit, my nigga. I don't wear the gay shit. Sneakers and belts, I partake in that shit. A sweater or two every now and then, a t-shirt. Yeah, but I'm, I'm a victim of that shit too, nigga. All that shit, skinny jeans been here. Guess when they made Pascal jeans? They made Slim Cowboys. That shit is old. That shit been in, my nigga. But the shit, the way you can see a nigga, you can see a nigga arteries pulsating in the thighs and shit. Yeah, that's a little much. But tapered jeans is cool. Extra baggy shit, they bringing that shit back in, but that shit really don't look that fly. But back to what the fuck I'm saying, because a lot of you niggas is in here getting sidetracked. The point I'm making is, bro, they removed us being owners and having ownership. They've removed that shit from our culture 
and bought up all that shit just so we can't make no money off of it and really water that shit down because in the 90s, wasn't none of that shit thriving like that. None of that shit. Now you look, point case, my nigga. Look, nigga. They have black designers. They went and got Pharrell. They went and got Kanye. They went and got Virgil. They went and got motherfucking Dunn C. They went and got um homes that Pierre Moss that work with Reebok. Now they gonna put us in the creativity of making that shit, but still no ownership. Still none of that. It'll never be big as that. Kanye told you niggas that. And Kanye, y'all thought Kanye was crazy because this is what they do, my nigga. They want you to think, they want everybody to make you look crazy when you go against the matrix, my nigga, because so many niggas is caught in the matrix and so many of you niggas miss the matrix and the meaning of the matrix that y'all don't get that it's designed when you too smart, when you're a genius, they want you to look like a dumbass because they want society to really make you think that you stupid and all the shit you saying is correct. Kanye lost over 25, 30 million dollars, nigga, trying to get within fashion. Only to see that he wanted ownership and they wasn't letting him have ownership. So they're gonna make you think he crazy. Anything that nigga try to be a part of, my nigga, they deem him to be crazy. Even with the Kim Car the Kardashians, culture vulture in our whole culture, they got that nigga with them, which he was a smart nigga that knew that, let me get upon this shit because they got the wave of everybody fucking with them and seeing what type of bitches they was and how influential a nigga gonna attach itself to that for influence and business purposes. I don't knock that at all. But at the same time, my nigga, they even use them against them because you got to remember, they them. They not one of us. So they made bro look like he was crazy than a motherfucker. They even diagnosed him with shit to say he was crazy because homes want ownership. Let me show you how powerful the nigga is. The nigga created his own line. The nigga went out to Wyoming and bought land. Bought land to create these factories in order to mass produce his own shit because that nigga not finna go to China and let the Chinamans make all the money. That nigga not finna go, I'm gonna get my own people and I'm gonna empower everybody. I'm gonna get my own land, make my own factories, manufacture my own shit. And the nigga saved Adidas. But guess what? They ain't get that nigga no ownership. The nigga owns Yeezy. But the distribution and the attachment is through Adidas. And the point I'm making is they not going to let niggas outdo them in nothing. They going to put you niggas in the office for y'all niggas to create. But let me show you how popping we is. We can take some shit and make the shit be shit again. But the thing about us, until a white man say this shit cool, or to a nigga with some money, Say the shit cool, it's not cool to our culture. That's the fucked up part. Niggas is so lost, my nigga, to where a nigga that done had some money and then fell off can't tell you niggas nothing. Man, that nigga can tell you more than a nigga that still got some money because if he was a rich nigga before and he lost it all, that's the nigga you probably want to listen to too because that nigga going to give you the game on how not to fuck up. But let's get back on track. We're showing you niggas how they promoting genocide and they don't want niggas that's suppressing our culture, bro. To where I probably won't even if I keep this shit up. I had went silent on a lot of this shit. 2017 and 2016, I woke up completely and started really using the intelligence that I got to really talk to my people. I put out Lorraine Motel. I got part two done complete. The bitch is complete, but it's too much chili for the hot dog, and y'all niggas not ready for it to where it was. Y'all overlooked that shit. I gave a nigga so much game on there to the point y'all didn't want that. Until Hove said it was cool to do, y'all niggas started listening. Then everybody started wanting we shall overcome. 
But it wasn't about we shall overcome. It's about I'm tired of making music about the same shit to where, let me make y'all understand something. You got to understand that we authors. Everything that a nigga talk about, y'all niggas is so lost and disturbed that y'all feel like niggas got to be in character. Bro, when I'm in the booth, I'm Killer Kalyon. Outside that bitch, I'm Kyle, my nigga. I can't be in character all day, bro. Killer Kalyon is a rapper, my nigga. That's my character when I'm rapping and performing. Niggas got to be normal niggas outside of this shit, bro. To where y'all look at niggas and y'all think niggas going to make all this money and they doing the same shit, my nigga. If y'all listening at these niggas and y'all thinking that these niggas is still in the hood, still selling dope, still riding around here with a bunch of tools. For one, if you're feeling you're not riding with that shit in certain cities and your ass going to jail. So if you fool ass niggas go to believing that these niggas is all packing sticks and they locked and loaded at all times, them niggas really doing that dumb ass shit to prove something to y'all because the most ill-advised ass shit you can do is see niggas with guns to their ear. And just like I just told you, my nigga, all them niggas dying. They putting emphasis at promoting genocide, my nigga. And these major labels, the plus that we got, the plus that we got as musicians, my nigga, is the digital distribution in, my nigga. Once the internet was formed, we got to direct connect our fans. Let me give you some game and how they fucked that up. Once we start making too much money, they want to implement the 360 deal because they weren't making no money no more. Marketing was really easy for us. We can tap into our fans ourselves. We didn't need no marketing budget and none of that because all our fans on social media, at one point, a million followers really was a million followers. But once they start seeing we found the loophole within the matrix, they fucked up the algorithm to where we couldn't reach all of our fans. So now they created an algorithm to where we got to pay to fuck, fuck with the million people that we got on here. Because we's making too much money. So they got to slow this shit down and start finding out a way to, how can we make some money? They making all of it. Major labor start losing shit simply because niggas didn't need them. The internet helped us. And niggas still don't even need that shit. And you really don't need all it. Just like Meek just check. How Meek just check academics about that shit. But there's too much game for some. And the fact that I'm at the gym now and I'm about to work out. I'm going to leave this live up, but I'm going to come back and give you some more game. I'm out.